So I've been asked to speak specifically to the accomplishments of the Terrytown meeting thus far. And um, when it comes to speaking of the Terrytown meeting accomplishments, uh, obviously I'm behind the scenes and have been organizing, so I'm not the most impartial reflector. Um, but I also think it's because of the role that I've gotten to play, um, and I've had the opportunity to speak with so many of you leading up to the meetings. Um, so from this, I, I would suggest that the biggest accomplishment that we've achieved to date is the group of people that we've brought together. And I've, I'm saying things that have been repeated several times now. Uh, it's a group of people who value what collaboration and a network can provide, even if it isn't always easy, and who want to work together to make a difference in the world. In my home scholarly field of disability studies, we celebrate interdependence over independence. In feminist theory, we value community over the individual. And here we're putting theory into action as we recognize the benefits of our collaboration that the Terrytown meetings encourage. So we're beginning to see what can come out of this network. Um, two books in the, work have, in the works have drawn heavily on discussions held at the Terrytown meetings. An edited volume, Sex, Genes, and Race, The New Biopolitics, edited by Michelle Goodwin to be published by Cambridge University Press. And there is... <laughs> and Beyond Bioethics, The New Biopolitics, a reader co-edited by Marcy Darnovsky and Osagi Obasagi to be published by UC Press. So one of the many benefits of these important forthcoming works will be that more people will learn about our network and will find ways to enter the conversation through these projects. We're also seeing new opportunities for collaboration that will happen outside of Terrytown, and I'm going to summarize some of these, but you know, I, I think that I'm not going to exhaust the list, which is exciting. Um, Terrytown participants have applied for funding to support an invitational assisted reproductive technology working group. The Racial Justice Track has just begun diving into a proposal to build a working group that would uh, help create a space for meaningful dialogue between scientists and those who are concerned with the way uh, new genetic technologies are reviving biological assumptions about race. Um, a group of Terrytown participants, as David mentioned, have drafted an essay, Values for New Biopolitics, that stemmed from last year's discussions and will benefit from this year's discussions and the feedback that we were able to receive today. Um, a talk over breakfast at a past Terrytown meeting helped lead to the Bay Area organizing surrounding synthetic biology at the new Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. And a few examples that I've been around for um, with the Center for Genetics and Society, we plan to begin a fellows program where CGS would invite Terrytown scholars to work uh, with our organization for a fixed term on specific research projects, blogging, and reports, helping both, of our or both our organization to grow and allowing us to provide support for scholarship that might not be rewarded in traditional academic settings. This spring, we began an initiative to call for reparations and historical justice regarding California's history of eugenic sterilizations. And in large part due to the network already in place with Terrytown participants working on these issues, we were able to quickly bring together a group of people from the reproductive uh, disability and racial justice communities to dive into these efforts. And this is going to continue um, starting in August. So these are just a few examples, and perhaps over these three days there will be more in the works. But what makes these examples important, stemming from our evening plenary discussion last night, is that they all represent new structures for collaboration. While we will not have a Terrytown 4 here next July, these structures are important for our ongoing efforts. We will continue to meet, just in new forms and places. The Terrytown Meeting Steering Committee has agreed that we're not ready to let go of the Terrytown Meetings and has plans in the work to hold two, perhaps three, regional Terrytown Meetings in the fall and winter of 2013. But these meetings, and we've been calling them Terrytown 3.5s, but that's kind of up in the air for what they'll be, they'd necessarily be different. They will be shorter than a three-day conference. We might consider opening the meetings up more, use them to not only speak to our colleagues, but also to introduce new colleagues to our shared concerns. But certain elements will remain the same. The commitment to not only including, but also featuring the work of younger participants, prioritizing a heterogeneous mix of people from diverse backgrounds and institutional, institutional affiliations who connect and blur scholarship and advocacy, and connecting the dots across the issues affecting genetic and reproductive technologies, challenging as this may be. And we'll be in touch with all of you about you know, ways to get involved if you're interested. 
Though we will not be meeting in Terrytown, New York next year, it's important that we think of this as an opportunity for growth and change. It's important for us to remember that the meetings are a means to an end, not an end in and of themselves. To just meet and meet every year at the same time and place would, could distract from the goals of this initiative. Our goal was never to establish a new academic discipline, though you know that would be really exciting too and perhaps part of what we, we do. But if it was, then an annual conference would be enough. But instead, our goal um, was to bring together a group of people and start a conversation about how we might better play an active role in shaping our biopolitical future. And the structures that we spoke of are gonna provide some really exciting um, opportunities for how we can keep doing this in different forms. In our present context, an unnuanced enthusiasm for all that biotechnology offers is extremely common, and the neoliberal climate further, um, further helps bring these technologies to market at an incredible pace. The stakes are very high, and more than anything, this network needs to continue and grow. Publications, working groups, and Terrytown 3.5 meetings are just the tangibles of what can develop from this incredible network of people. On many of our issues, we are pre-organizing still, but by creating new structures for pre-organizing, we're building a movement, perhaps. And it's going to be exciting to see what things down the road are not necessarily the direct products of Terrytown, but we'll have the Terrytown meetings as part of the story or biopolitical stories as we began. Thank you.